Hi, my loves. Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, an oracle, and a prophetess, you guys. So welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome, my loves. To all my new subscribers, welcome, you guys. Um, this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. We are a high vibe tribe, okay? If you have found this channel, chances are, right, you're going through an awakening process or you, you, you're going through ascension, or you've already been through your awakening, and you're leveling up big time, right? We're all elevating here. This is a pillar of light. So welcome to your tribe, you guys. Welcome, welcome. So you guys have seen the title, so you know why you're here. This is gonna be just a quick like energy check-in. Um, I was done with work for the evening, and um, I, Spirit just said, you know, I was out here connecting with, with, with the wind, with the, with the air, with the birds, with the trees, with everything, right? The plants, the, the sun, um, the wind just sort of picking up you guys, like, um, you know, so, and that's kind of when, you know, I got this, 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 this energy and this feeling of, you know, it, it is quite literally the winds of change, but, um, it's, it's about this weekend. It's, it's blowing something in, um, It's blowing in a message. It's blowing in a message. I brought out the kipper. I brought out the tea. I brought out some of my, um, this is, you, those of you guys who have been following along, this is one of my, um, my octagon <laughs> message deck. Let's do this one first, you guys. Let's do this one. I haven't used this one in, in a little bit. Um, I created this, I don't know, you guys, back in like October, November. All right, spirit. So give us, give us the, give us the tea. Give us the lowdown. Show us the greatest and highest good. Right. We want to know what's going on for this beautiful collective, for my beautiful tribe. Um, what is going on this weekend with their person? Of course, you guys. I'm going to be doing energy updates. I'm also really this time because <laughs> I said this like a week ago that I was going to be starting the the zodiacs for like you know the rest of July or whatever, and I didn't because. I do everything divinely led and guided and I feel things and uh, now is the time. It was truly to, they, I was being led to wait after the full moon, you guys. Now we're like, it's popping like popcorn. You guys keep hearing me say that because it's true. It, the energy between you and this person and just kind of like maybe for some of you guys in life in general, it's been like pop. Like when you put a bag of popcorn in the microwave and you like hit the popcorn setting. I just talked about that the other day. I was like, that popcorn setting is BS. It always burns my popcorn. Um, so now I watch, you know what I mean? Like not watch, watch, but I, I listen, you know, and I hear the pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 right? And then all of a sudden it starts going crazy. And literally that's the energy that's like in the in the in the collective atmosphere. Um the the light energy okay the divine energies from the sun the solar rays the solar light codes all of that that is beaming so hard on everybody right now um in the northern hemisphere we are in summer okay that could be someone's name actually i i'm getting the name summer i'm hearing the name summer now um funny because my my girlfriend who does my hair she was here yesterday and she was talking about anyways but it would the, the name like resonates sagittarian energy as i'm talking about you know the heat or whatever summertime Sagittarius comes out, which is a December, you know, November, December energy. Okay. So the, this time of year could be very relevant for you and your connection, whoever I'm talking about. This could be your birthday. You could be a Sag, your person could be a Sag, right? But I feel like this time of year, the winter, okay. The winter is, it's the, you know, like, okay, what, what I'm getting, what they're telling me is that it's like the cosmic womb. Okay. It's been very barren and cold and it's been like darkness. And you know, like when the winter, all the leaves go away in the fall and then it's like, everything is very barren and it's cold and right. Nothing grows. It's been like that. It's been like that. Okay. So it's been like that. Maybe for some of you guys in your life, all of that's shifting. It's changing. Okay. Sagittarius is very like optimistic. This is like, I'm a go-getter. I'm happy, go lucky. I'm going to go do the damn thing. I'm passionate. I'm all the things, right? Karmic energies are trying to throw you off. Okay. This is what like it, it you know, it's, it's, it comes through here and there, but it's been coming through more and we're going to see it, you know, because karmic energies are, everyone is right. But karmic energies are being, they're really being pushed into an uncomfortable zone of growth and expansion. So let's say your DM has been in a karmic situation or they've been in their own 
karma, right? Like dealing with lessons and, and trying to close out, you know, karmic cycles that they've, you know, needed to complete and learn and things like that, right? Um, it's been, an, it's just been a time of like, it feels like stagnation. Like your person, what's been ever happening in their life, they're like, I feel like I'm going nowhere. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. That's what this is. They feel like they're spinning their wheels in life. They're done spinning their wheels, you guys. They, they're they done being stuck in the mud, spinning their wheels, getting nowhere, okay? They're ready for some traction. I'm a country girl, you guys, so I'm like throwing out these analogies because I've been there. <laughs> Once you get stuck in the mud, you don't do it twice. I'm hearing December 5th. Somewhere around these that date, December 5th, could have been when you guys met, when you guys fell in love. This person is going back to this era for some of you guys. They keep I'm they keep taking me back over to winter, Christmas time. Karmic energy is trying to throw you off, you guys. So beware, you know, for instance, uh, you know, if you're in like a twin flame dynamic, right, and you guys have been in separation or you you have a, you know, a, a past life soulmate or right, someone who you know, right, this is, this is someone that you're meant to be with, someone that you're destined to be with. Now, we don't wait for nobody and we don't want third party energy and we don't want none of that because we are elevated, you know what I mean? We have gone through our healing, we've done our shadow work, these karmic energies can't throw you off, right? You guys are above that now, okay? You can see through that. But what I mean by this is the karmic energies, okay? Uh, maybe friends around you, people around you, they're trying to throw you off, trigger you. So you guys just, you know, use your discernment. 7-7 seven, seven on the timestamp. Also, this could be your person, you know, if they were in a, you know, in some kind of dynamic where they were with someone um, who was karmic for them, you know, um, which this is, I can feel it, right? They, the, the, that karmic energy was trying to do everything in their power to throw this connection off kilter from not happening. So they were doing, you know, like sex magic. They were, um, trying to use guilt they were very manipulative you know what I mean they would throw on the crocodile tears and you know make all the promises it won't happen again I'll change I promise please forgive me I was drunk I didn't mean it you know all those things that people say when they gaslight and they are full of crap because it's a it's 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 a part of them it's a part of their soul still it's not going to stop right because it's a lesson, it's a part of what needs to be shed and and, and they're not meant to um, shed all of that with this person, with your person, right? So your person has seen all this. Your person is now like, Sagittarius is temperance in the major arcana. So look, at, I held back because I wasn't healed, see? Your person could have like chosen someone else or they just, they just weren't ready because they weren't healed, you guys. They weren't on the level you were. They went They went in the direction that was easy. Look at this, divine disruption. The divine is raining down disruption at this time. They're pushing you guys together. The divine themselves have their hand on some of these connections for you guys, okay? I adore you. You're so different. You know, um, it's, I, I'm, I made, I'm going to actually tap into my other deck. So I made like part of it the other day and I finished it today, you guys. So it's like a full, full deck. Um, and one of the cards that I made was embrace your weird. Embrace your weird. Because literally, like, that's what makes you so special and divine and unique and a goddess. Do you know what I mean? You guys know that saying, a dime a dozen? A dime a dozen. That's a karmic, that's karmic energy. You know what I mean? You can go find that anywhere. There's so much of it. It's, you know, like, uh, it's, it's not in high demand. It's not in high demand. Okay. 
but you are. Your energy, sorry, my hair was like on the cards. Your energy is in high demand, my loves. And this person adores you because of, you know, you're, you are different. There's no one else like you. You are unique. You're gifted. You're weird. You know what I mean? You embrace your energy that you don't care. You're not going to put you inside of a square box. That's where this person chose to live was in a square box with karmic energy because it was easier. And, and their own soul, divine disruption is also the divine disruption within. It's that inner knowing, your intuition. Anyway, Sagittarian energy, that's temperance. That's, you know, uh, earth angel. It's the card of the angels. It's the opposite of the devil. Devil can't dance with the angels. It's all of that. This person views you as someone very um, divine. It's like they view you as like an actual angel. Like you're someone who's just so angelic. And I'm hearing beautiful. That wanted to pop witchcraft. Um, you know, that keeps kind of coming up to you guys. There's a lot of dark energy that's freaking the freak out right now throughout the globe okay this dark energy the stuff that's been controlling this world the globe the the people uh you know in leadership roles look see as i'm talking about this spirit shows up i'm telling you guys they have my back everyone here who, who joins this channel right like i pray for everyone on my channel i send love to people on my channel i'm gonna start like bringing forth a lot more of like my gifts on the channel not just tarot everything you guys i channeled light language yesterday i've done it a couple times throughout you know since i've had my channel this last year um and you know what you guys by the way i had a facebook memory pop up today a year ago today okay so it was it was july 16th 2021 and i had just started my channel it was a baby i only had 200 and like 70 or 217 subscribers and this memory popped up and i was like it was a thing of like my how many subscribers and i was so happy you guys i remember checking every day one two 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 on the you know, like I was seeing it like grow and happen and like it started with one and now we're at 12,000, almost 12,100. You guys, we've gotten like 500 subscribers in like four days, five days. And it's just going up, up, up. Why? Because we are light, because we win, because we outshine it all, right? We need the light and the dark. We ourselves are both, right? Feminine, masculine, light, dark. That's why the yin and yang is always like the white and the dark, right? It's that energy. But there's been too much of it in this world. There's too much darkness. And now the darkness is freaking out. So I keep really talking about protecting yourselves and all these things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video on how to do that. Okay? Because I love you guys and I want you guys to be protected, okay? Um... But anyways, the reason why I started talking about that is because it says shielding, guardian angel, divine intervention, and protected aura. You guys are very protected by any kind of karmic energies and any, you know what I mean? Um, Your person, what I'm hearing is, um, you know, they, they have your back. They have your back, my loves. They stick up for you. They stick up for this. Um, what I'm hearing is like, you know, for a long time, you guys, they denied, they denied this to their, to their person. See, they, um, look at this blind faith keeps coming out together. If you guys watched my live yesterday and right you guys know it keeps coming out and I keep channeling it. And look, they just came out together yesterday in my live. These two cards, I think it was the live. It was one of my readings I did yesterday. They came out together. And here we go again. Same exact. Blind faith. This person has blind faith. But what I was saying is, you know, there's a... What I'm getting is like for some of you guys, right? There was, you know, your person, whatever they were had going on in their life, like you didn't know what was going on behind the scenes, right? 
Like maybe you kind of intuitively did, you kind of felt their energy, you kind of picked up on things, saw things, because you guys are intuitive too, right? You know, especially if you're in like this twin flame connection, you could feel your person, especially when they're thinking of you sexually, when they're fantasizing, when they're, when you feel like this wave of like love come over them about you, you know, you feel all of it. There's an uncontrollable desire to get to you, okay? They are uh, wishing, hoping, and praying. I feel like some of you guys, you're very spiritual. You have a lot of faith. You you bring forth a lot of light and loving energy. Um, I feel like you you've you've actually like restored faith in this person, like whatever it is with you guys it like brought faith back to them it restored their faith going back looks sneaky see going back your person what i was saying was like you don't know what was going on behind the scenes right um for some of you guys you may feel like your person just like totally just dropped you and like right and like you were like i thought this was like a twin like, i thought you were the right but you guys know that this person had to do what they had to do okay you had to take your separate route too for a lot of you guys it says the one deep love spiritual connection and your life partner moving Says boxed up an environment change in an empty shell your person's 3d environment is in is changing entirely some of you guys are about to be relocating or taking and you're moving you're going to be moving to be with this person or they move to be with you there's been a there's been energies trying to block this connection one of them being for some of you guys right the karmic now your person has free will so they kept their own self stuck we can't blame anybody that's not even what this is about what I mean is that this karmic energy knew intuitively because they are also intuitive. They could feel their person's energy because they're connected to the DM as well or your person, right? Whoever I'm talking to. And they felt something's off, something's not right. They're they're not being honest. And they're hiding stuff from me. So your person so this karmic energy went digging for answers. They wanted to know the truth because they felt as well blinded by the truth. And look, all three of these just came out as I'm talking about that. Secrets were recently revealed here, okay? And cats out of the bag, that's what I just heard. Cats out of the bag. I'm hearing Donatella, like Donatella Versace. That can resonate, I have no idea. But I just heard Donatella. Some of you guys could be like, your person could be Italian. They could have the name like Donna or Don. Anyways, secrets came out. It says a love affair. Someone who's been keeping things inside not and not opening up. See, your person, they finally just, I feel like there was a, a massive purge. I feel like it was an explosion. A release of truth. They exercised their throat chakra. I'm hearing exercise the demons. So for some of you guys, yeah, this, you know, your person's been dealing with some really nasty energy in their home, in their life. Look at, you can't make it up. Look what, look at, look at, it was upside down, you guys. I didn't even see it. Look at that shit. Not that I need to. You guys know if you've been here. If you guys are new, welcome, welcome. <laughs> we read energy, not cards on this channel. Okay. Differences, a divorce, a breakup, and not looking back. You see? The ending always brings forth a beautiful new beginning. You see, they had something just happened. I feel like that's what this whole thing is about too. This this message. It's like, you know, it's letting you guys kind of know what's going on, right? But it's about like this energy now, this weekend. Someone's making fake profiles to to keep tabs on you, to watch you. You may have blocked somebody and then they went and made a fake profile to keep watching you. Could be, you know, a, you know, anyone, right? Like anyone, but like it could be this karmic energy or, you know, for you, it could be someone from the past, like a, an ex or something. But there's definitely karmic energies watching you guys, okay? 
Um, it's really big to protect your energies right now, you know. Make sure you do that when you go to sleep and things like that. You guys can look up, you know, how to protect your energy on YouTube. It's very easy to Google stuff and find things. But I will share. I'm hearing hope. I'm hopelessly devoted to you. So it's, it's, it's you know, Olivia Newton-John and it's Greece, hopelessly devoted to you. In the present moment, your person, they get butterflies when they think of you. They smile when they think of you. I really feel like it's the only time they, they feel like really happy inside you guys. There's a lot of expansion taking place here. Your person is coming in with like a changed heart, changed mind. Observing. Look at, they see you out having fun and they're watching. They're watching you have fun. They're watching you live your best life. I'm telling you guys, that's why they were like, okay, what am I doing here? I'm spinning my wheels. I'm not happy. I feel all this change happening within myself and in my life. I see things differently. I feel more in love with my, you know, person, my divine feminine more than ever, but I'm not with them because I'm stuck in this, you know, shitty cycle <laughs> to be very plain, plainly put. Okay. We've all been there. We've all been there. And when you're done, you're done. Your person is going, I'm done. This is that I'm done being watched. I feel like your person has been like super like I feel like whatever they've been dealing with, it's been very possessive and very jealous. Look at what just came out right when I say that. Conflict, clashing differences, incompatible, irreconcilable. Told you. Witchcraft. Oh my gosh, you guys. It says someone is hexing. I told you. Spell work. For some, they even went through the trouble of trying to go to someone that does spell work okay and they were like I don't want to lose my boyfriend or whatever right um or you know and I want to like you know make them love me more keep them from leaving or you know whatever right all they did was just like they got played they wasted their money you guys there's nothing that can stop this you guys know that you guys know that I talk about all the time this person is coming in this weekend I'm telling you for a lot of you guys I can feel it they want to talk. They're coming in to talk and discuss things. They feel this energetic window closing between you guys. Okay. Yeah. See locked up missing pieces. You're the missing piece to their happiness, to their life. They cannot move forward. Their heart is locked up. Escape. All right. So let's see what my deck says. Let's see what this one wants to say. All right, spirit, for my collective, for the highest and greatest good. Quan Yin just showed up. Beautiful energy. This is flow, water. 3D has fallen and changes. Your person's 3D mindset, your person's 3D way of seeing and viewing, their 3D reality has completely, like, fallen. That would mean relationships maybe they're going through job transitions you guys um you know maybe they're selling properties like i don't know but there's a lot happening within their like you know 3d world but also what this is is your 3d world my loves you guys your guys's 3d world is fallen okay now it's about divine energy the the, the new earth the wave of energy the frequency that's here right you guys are vibing with this for many of you guys, right? And those of you guys who are feeling like, I don't know if I am or not, or like, I feel like everything's just going like really bad right now, right? Don't say it. Don't concentrate on it. Things are good. Things are always getting better. Things are always working out for me. You guys, if you follow along, trust me, this, this is what we're doing here. Divine downloads. You're getting all the divine downloads. The divine is showing you, telling you. Your person has also received them. legion of angels and mother wounds okay so you guys are healing the mother wounds the womb beautiful energy you guys you guys are some of you guys you're getting very pre you're prepared you're you're getting spiritually uh physically mentally it's you're getting prepared for uh 
your womb is being prepared for pregnancy because you guys are about to have a baby with this person. Some of you guys, right? Dark distractions. Yeah, see, there's dark distractions here. So again, you guys, be sure to, to stay in alignment. Think happy thoughts. It's quite easy. Stay in alignment with that, that love frequency, the happiness, right? Nothing is, you don't have nothing to worry about, right? Release the fear, release the blocks around love, around money, around anything. You're integrating at this time. It's time for, you're, you're stepped into a whole new frequency and, and joining forces. This person is coming in, Quan Yin is that really beautiful water, emotion, intuition. It's about healing. And it's also about a great, someone who's been through a great deal of pain and grief and they transform into their most masterful, loving self. They transmute that pain into their loving power. You have done that and this person is now doing that. Before they were just hiding behind the pain with fear, you know? I've been hurt before, I don't wanna go there again. See, you've elevated <laughs> and so is your person. Power to activate. Okay, so for some of you guys, your, your part of your light work is to uh, bring forth activations you guys awaken and your frequency rises and you guys activate others around you. All right, spirit, before we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, 38, this could be someone's age. And then 15, the lovers. Beautiful energy. 38, 11, and then 15, a six. This could be life path numbers. 11 is a master number master angel number toil and labor i want to put in all the work i want to put in all the work look at i said cats out of the bag look at the little cat right there and then you have the two white doves look i just posted on my community page yesterday some photos and things that i took some sinks and it one of the photos was two white doves sitting together on top of in a pair on top of a chimney on my walk your person has made a huge huge decision connected to their heart and true love this is a strong magnetic attraction and bond this is past life soulmates this is your person this is the one you you spend the rest of your life with i mean it's you guys they turn to stone it's forever <clears throat> see my throat i've been getting a lot of throat stuff you guys when i channel it's because of the blockage of the truth that needs to come forth that's the whole point of this channeled message. There's a message that arrives this weekend. Someone's ready to put in all this work with you. Look at, they, they're heartbroken. They've been in a bad way and they, they feel like you're the only one who can, who can help. Some of them could have been recently sick. Some of you guys could be overcoming something here. But I feel like this is just, again, like what I said, see, thoughts. This person could be a, an artist very creative crafty but this what this is is you're in my thoughts 24 7 and like you know what i mean like this person is like i feel like they're having a little tiny case of the me me me's they're like i want to feel better i want to be with my love i want it right and they're the only one that can make me feel good this person loves you the lovers they love you. This person could have lost someone recently, a father or a grandfather. I'm hearing World War II. They could have had like, you know, a family member who is with them who was fought in World War II. You guys have been knowing this person for a while because you can see in the leaves here, there's fall kind of energy where it's like fall and like that orangey and then also all the green. So you guys have been through like full seasons here. I'm telling you, some of you guys fall and like winter time is really important to your connections. Oh, I didn't even see this. I'm in love with you, but I've kept it hidden. I don't chase, I attract, see? 
All right, spirit. So my loves, if you want to book a personal psychic session, uh, a past life acoustic reading, um, or just like a 20 minute vent session, okay? You can find all the info down below. Backstabbed, betrayed, and deceit. I feel like something like happened. It went down, you know. I feel like your person wants to come in. They want to talk to you about everything. They want to tell you why they did the things they did. They want to tell you why they pulled away from you. They want to know like what happened, how you feel. They want to know like what happened like in their recent like connection. They want to tell you, I know I it's over for me. It's done, you know. Is there any way that we could ever try this again? Because I love you. I've never gotten you out of from out of my mind. In fact, it's gotten worse. <laughs> I think about you more. Because you're my soulmate, and I know this now. See? Let's take this one on the top. <gasps> I care more about myself. See, your person is choosing self-love. I keep saying that. And when they choose self-love, self-love is self-love, it's also, in a way, when they choose you, that is a form of self-love. Because you are the one they're meant to be with. So they're going... I'm loving myself now. I see it now. I get it now. I didn't love myself before. That's why I was in the connections I was in. They feel like you're very sexy. You're very driven. You're a powerhouse. You're magical. You're passionate. You're full of fire. And you are getting a lot of attention. And they know it. And they don't want you to get stolen. And they could be coming from a long distance. This could be energetic distance or physical distance. Or for some of you guys, both. You haven't spoken to this person. They've been very distant and they also are at a long distance from you. So this is what I have, my loves. I send you so much love, so much light. Happy Friday. Um, I will see all your beautiful faces this weekend. Um, you can find all info down below, you guys. If you want to order one of my handmade um, copper wiring Lemarian seed crystal quartz pendants, you guys, I infuse them with all magical jujus, Reiki healing. Um, it's specific to you, light language, all the things. It's my mom who's helping me to create these beautiful pieces. Um, and yeah, so it's special for you, you guys, they're little, uh, like spiritual battery packs. They help activate, they help bring you back online. Um, they help, you know, enhance your spiritual gifts, connect you to ancient wisdoms. There's all kinds of stuff, the angelic realms, um, all kinds of stuff. So there's that. And then I also offer tarot lessons. So that's it. You guys, I love you. Namaste. Love and light. Bye.